I ordered a new cover plate. So this is the old cover plate, and this is the new cover plate, which looks nothing like the old one. If I look at the directions, which, thank God, they're pictures, not written in German, because I wouldn't understand them. It looks like if I look at my old bar cover, it looks like if I look at my old bar cover, and it's got two holes, I should be okay with the new one. I got a check mark. However, if I have two holes, and then there's like a wider gap, it's no good. So what they want me to do is remove the old one, which I've already done, put the new one, put the new one on top of the studs, take my bar tightening tool, put it on top of the new plate and whack it down to make it stick. And it's all gonna work. So let's see if that does work. I'm gonna go ahead and put my safety glasses on, which is always a good idea with any striking tool. So according to the directions, we just go ahead and put this piece on top. Take our scrunch and give it a good bop. We'll bop this one too. That does seem like it's stuck on there pretty good. And then is this gonna fit down all the way? Huh. Well, it's not gonna work if the bar doesn't fit on. Oh, look at that. It's kind of like designed to hold the bar on for you. That's what those little, that's what those little fingers do. And then you put this sucker on. And it's flush. So if I could find my bar nuts, I could put them on. Isn't that something? So what happens is these little guys here, these little fingers, are actually there to hold the bar on. Look at that. I'm holding the bar on, 25 inch bar with these little fingers. I have no idea what I did with my old bar nuts. But I'd really like to put them on right now. Just so you know, I did put a new one of these guys on too. This was all chewed up from whenever this saw through a chain. Okay, so that, that feels pretty good. As you're looking at the saw, you can kind of see here's the chain catcher, which was, it was not on the saw, but it's on the saw now, which is good, so it'll get caught if it ever gets thrown. There's no play whatsoever in the bar. I don't know if you can see the saws moving because I'm grabbing the tip of the bar. But there is no play in there whatsoever. So I'm feeling pretty good about, uh, about that bar and I, should, I shouldn't be concerned whatsoever about that little piece of metal that was missing down there because she's working great. And one thing I do want to show you guys while we're down here is just look at how much space you have for your chips to, to get thrown. So there is a good, there is a good inch and a half gap for, for chips to get thrown out of the bottom of this saw. And I've never me measured the gap on my O36, but that's a heck of a lot larger than it is on my O36. The other thing you can see while we're down here is right here, we have an adjustable oiler, so you can adjust it. They recommend you just run it on E, which is economy or something, but you can adjust the amount of oil, and if you're milling, you wanna have that oil as high as it possibly goes. Thanks a lot for watching today. I think we, uh, I think we got our bar studs replaced and uh, we're well on our way to getting ourselves a nice milling saw. Have a great day, folks.